this will be the start of part two. I got to page 16 last time, or yesterday, whatever. And I believe I found the exact spot. It was, you guys have nothing, I'll kill all of you. And that's Mila. I said, oh, she's got fight or something like that. I haven't edited the first part yet, as I'm recording the second part. So let's just pick up right where I left off. Um, let's do the right thing, boys. This is a lady, after all. No guns. I, I don't even know how to act in character. I'm just going to read it and fix it as I go. Uh, you guys might want to rethink that. Or what, sweetheart? You look so weak. Gurgling sound. <laughs> I don't know what that's for, but... Uh, I'm a lot better than I look. You just killed J6! He was the best fighter next to me. Well, that didn't stop me from throwing a knife and killing him, now did it? Let's just see how good you really are. J7, you take care of her friend. I'll handle her. <laughs> I love it. Okay. No weapons, love. As you wish. And don't call me love. I'll let you have the first punch, seeing as you are a lady and all. Wow, you want this over that quickly? Do you honestly think that you can take me out with one hit? No, I know I can. Wow, nice try, love, but you have to be faster than that if you want to land a blow on me. Ow, that was better. <laughs> My turn. Arg! Shit, you're fast, but you're still gonna die. We are equally matched. You can't kill me. You're right about one thing. We are equally matched, but I'm still alive. M grabs J5 from behind and snaps his neck, killing him instantly. Ooh, naughty. Naughty Mila. Are you alright over there, Travis? I got this, M. Just stand and enjoy the fight. Alright, it's just you look a bit tired. I'm trying to kill someone over here. Sorry, I'll be quiet. Give it up, boy. She may have killed J6 and J5. But they were nothing compared to me and my temper. Bring it on, tough guy. Ow. That looked like it hurt. It did. Alright, let's see how good your temper is at stopping a knife. It works just as good at stopping a blade. Travis stabs several times in the air, missing each time. He finally manages to cut J7's arm. His right arm. Ooh, moves missed up there. Wow, you finally got a hit! J7 elbows Travis, knocking him to the ground. Now it's your turn, love. Huh? M shoots J7 between the eyes and says, What part of Don't Call Me Love didn't you get? Should, okay, that should be a question. But technically he's dead, so should it be a question? Yes, it should be a question after the parentheses. Because... She was asking it, but it was like a hypothetical. And I think I argued with myself about this already. As if there should be a question mark there, but... As I'm reading it, it was a question, clearly. And, dead or not, it was a hypothetical. And even hypothetical questions deserve question marks. So, there's that. Okay. M, I almost had him! I'm sorry, you can kill him next time. That's okay, let's just get out of here. What about him? I say we leave him. Come on, Travis. These guys were tough and he's weak. Kinda didn't stand a chance. How old are you, Aaron? I'm 17. Okay. Should this be let's go, or is this let go? Is he holding on to someone, or someone holding on to Okay. Let go, we need to collect supplies. Okay, this should be let's go. So let's change that. Let's go, we need to collect supplies and head back to the vault. We have some ammo. 
weapons and fresh bottled water down the hall there. Good, let's get it and leave this place. Okay guys, we need medical stuff and a lot of other things. I say we go to the Sackton Hospital. No, it's empty. I checked it before I got to the library. There's not any... There's not even any bandages left. Alright, then we can go to the local drugstore. It's a ba it's It has a basement warehouse filled with all kinds of medicine. Then all we need is food. The local grocery store is sealed with steel shutters and I couldn't find a way in. Well, I'm a local. I know the way in. I know a way in. Let's just head to the drugstore first then worry about that later. Now, it seems like there might be a filler missing there, you know what I mean? Because they left the library, and now they're back at the vault. I think there might have to be a filler at some point in the near future. And if I do write it, I will re-record it. Just that part. And I don't know. Or maybe I won't re-record it. I'm just doing this to fill it. So, But it definitely seems like there needs to be like something happening on the way there, but... What are you going to do? It would only be like an extra thousand words or something, but there's definitely something missing to brand a bridge scene, if you will. But let's continue. Shit, this place is bit clean too. Okay, guys, follow me. Aha, I knew this place would be empty. It's too well hid. Help me, you two. This trap door is stuck. Slide it this direction. I believe he hid the key to this door behind the seventh brick from the door at chest level. It was about five to five foot ten. You check the right and I'll check the left. And none of these are loose. Keep checking. I know he told me once that he hid a key, spare key down here. This one. This is it, guys. What did I tell you? Yeah, yeah, just open the door already. Okay. Holy crap, look at this stuff. Holy crap, look at all this stuff. All. It matters. Alright, fill a few boxes and let's get out of here. I need to get something from the back room. Hey, Travis, look, look at this. There's not just medicine down here. Flavored condoms, ha ha ha. You really are 17, Aaron. Just fill your box with medicine. What about this alcohol rubbing? Peroxide. Grab a few bottles of each. We can always come back if we need more of it. We can always come back for more if we need it. By the way, that scene about the condoms made me laugh my ass off when I typed it originally because I was so tired. And I was like, should I really throw that in there? And then I was like, sure, why not? It's funny. He's 17. He's, like, been trapped in a basement or something. or something. I don't know. It was just funny. Now, what was the combination? 777. Click. Yum. Okay, guys. We're done here. Let's lock it up and go. Why lock it up? Because no one else needs to get down here and steal all the supplies. I'll take the key with us so we can get back in if we need uh, anything else. Alright, now let's head to the store, then back to the vault. Jay's probably freaking out by now. It's been almost two hours. You know, Em, it's getting dark. Maybe we should go tomorrow? I think you're right. Let's just head back. Shh. Did you hear that? Quick, get into the car. Oh no. They're coming. Hold on, you two. Slow down, you're gonna crash into something! Seems like there's another bridge scene missing, but I'll finish this paragraph, because I'm almost out of time here. I happen to be a very good driver. Look out! The car brakes screech loudly. My god, look at all of them. There must be 500 of them. Never seen this many before. Get us out of here, Em. Hold on, I'm gonna drive through them. Woohoo! Look at them fly! 
These ones haven't mutated yet. Not like... Oh, no, those... Wait a minute. Not like... Oh, no, those ones. Fun's over. Get out of the car and head to the vault quickly. Take the supplies and tell Jay I'll see him in a few. A few what? What the hell are you doing, Em? I have to lure them away. These zombies are different. Don't get yourself killed. I'll be fine. Sometimes it's hard to tell which character I'm supposed to be. I'm just, I'm just gonna keep reading it. I haven't had to correct much, really, so that's good. I think I've automatically just fixed all the last pages or something, so it's still pretty good. It's fun reading this. Hey, Travis, and you must... Hey, Travis, and you must be Aaron? Or is M? Ten more supplies? Yeah, about that. She's not dead, is she? We don't know. She said that she was going to lure the evolved zombies away from the bank. She told us to tell you to see in a few. Shit. I don't believe her. She knows how fast they are. She's not in trouble, is she? Both of you stay here. Jay, you can't go back in. Jay, you can't get back in without being scanned, and you're not a local. I'll have M with me. Alright, you sick freaks, follow me. A loud roar echoes through Sacton. M drives down the road, doing 80, as glass shatters from the windows of all surrounding building of all surrounding buildings. Let me paint you guys a picture. It's a blizzard in Sacton somewhere. So let's just say Iowa, because that's where it originated from anyways, okay? That's where my original idea for Sacton came from. It's a blizzard in Iowa so cold that vibrations from a car going 80 and a horde of zombies 500 or larger roaring through would shatter the glass. Can you imagine how amazingly incredible that would look in a movie? That's the picture I'm painting for this particular paragraph. Okay. All right, you sick freaks, follow me. A loud roar echoes through Sacton. M drives down the road doing 80 and glass shatters from the surrounding building's windows. I'm not reading it exactly, but I don't know. Okay. Glass shatters from the windows of all surrounding buildings as the zombies disappear and reappear, trying to catch up with her. She stops the car and gets out. She opens the trunk and takes out Jay's machete. She's surrounded by a hundred evolves. By the way, they're called evolves when they can disappear and reappear in the snow and blizzard. By the way, how cool would that be for zombies to do? Yeah, my idea. Okay, hundreds of evolves. One by one, she hacks their heads off as they try to get a feel for her weakness. They find it. The last bunch gets smart and grabs a hold of her and they disappear. When they reappear, she no longer has the machete and is too far from the car. Sorry, Jay. Looks like I'll be breaking two promises. Em realizes if she doesn't make it back to the car, she's as good as dead. So ma she makes a run for it. Just before she reaches it, they circle the car and vanish it. God, are you kidding me? Moments later, it crashes behind M, knocking her to the ground. She slowly stands up and sees that she is surrounded by the evolved zombies. So finish me already. M, get down! M doesn't waste a second and bends down. Jay pulls out his clock and shoots nine of the twelve zombies in the head and watches them fall. M, get up. Come on, get up. Here, take this. As Jay rides them out of there, M shoots the last three zombies in the head. Whose motorcycle is this? Mine. Now seeing as you destroyed my car. Oh, mine. Now seeing as you destroyed my car. Oh, come on. It was just a little scratched up. I'm just glad I made it to you in time. Thanks for saving me, Jay. She kisses his cheek as they pull up to the bank. Jay, wait. Did Travis tell you what happened at the bank? Do I even want to know? It's a trap. 
Three ex-military men were using Aaron to lure victims into their trap. And they would eat them? They Okay, then they would eat them. They attacked us and we killed them. Well, I killed them with a little help from Travis. Oh, from Travis, not from Travis. That's been happening a lot to me lately, by the way. I can't spell form or from to save my ass. Anyways. Travis and none from Aaron. There we go. See, look at that right there again. From form. It's little things like that that can kill a book when it's published. Misery by R.L. Science, or not R.L. Science, but, uh, you know by who. Misery. Uh, that was written with a couple errors like that, and it drove me nuts when I read it. Okay. Little help from Travis and none from Aaron. So why did you guys bring him back with you? He was being used, but did try to warn us before they attacked us. It's only 17. Couldn't just... We couldn't leave him there alone. Okay. Just... I, I added it, as you guys probably heard, so I'm gonna add the word just... We couldn't just leave him there all alone. That sounds better, right? Then we couldn't leave him there. It sounds a little too whiny Harry Potter. So let's just put we just because that sounds more like me. It's only 17. We couldn't just leave him there all alone. Let's get inside before more zombies show up. Hey, you both made it back. So what happened? Did you ditch them? You could say that, but Jay's car is totaled. <laughs> well, at least you both made it back. Hey, Jay, did you record the bomb broadcast? Oh, yeah. You guys have to listen to it. For some reason, it came in really good this time. I can understand most of it. Here, listen. To all that are listening, you will never make it out. They won't let you. This is the last broadcast before the bomb hits. The secret military branch, CDT, will begin bombing each city one by one till all the zombies are destroyed, along with any humans that may or may not still be alive. I urge you to take shelter. Did he ever mention when these bombings were supposed to start? No, my guess is soon, though. I think we all need to get some rest. Tomorrow we need to get... Tomorrow we need to go get food. Okay. So the CDT... Uh, I, I don't think I've told... any. I don't think I've told anyone in the book yet about what the CDT is. And I don't think they know. Or maybe they do because they're characters. But it's Center for Disease Testing. They are the reason why this virus was developed in the first place which will get explained more later. But basically the CDT is the CDC, but they test the diseases that the CDC sort of works with, maybe. It's not real, I don't think, but because I just made it up, but the CDT, that's what that stands for. Center for Disease Testing. That's what it'll stand for later in the book, I believe. So let's finish this off because I'm almost out of time again. Jay, what are you doing up this late? I was able to pinpoint where that broadcast came from. Are you sure? Where? It's not far. How did you trace the signal? I'm good with computers and electronics. Listen, Em. I say the two of us go there right now. And investigate. Shouldn't we wait till morning and take those two? Let them sleep. Besides, two people make less noise than four. Well, how far away is it? It's three blocks south of here. We should be able to walk that far without being spotted by any zombies. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Hope it's not another trap. Is this where the signal came from? This is the building. The broadcast signal came from inside. We have to be very quiet. Let's go inside. What is this guy? Oh, 
What if this guy has the place rigged? My guess is he wants someone to find him. I wouldn't have had broadcasted so many times. The signal seems to be coming from the roof. Let's find the stairs. Found him. Get your gun out and be ready for anything. Dang, this building has a lot of stairs. Should be close to the roof. This is it. Alright, just in case this is a trap, let's go. Okay, just in case this is a trap, let me go first. Let me go out first. Give me five minutes, and if I haven't came back yet, come get me. Damn, it's cold up here. Anybody up here? Whoa. What the hell? Looks like I got myself another zombie. What? I'm not a zombie, I'm a guy. Look, I came up here because you... Because of your broadcast. So you things have evolved again. Now you can talk. For the last time, I'm not a zombie. Let him down now. Perfect timing him. Another one? I'll shoot you first. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Let him down now. Oh, shit. Ah! Ow. Are you alright? I just fell 10 feet in a net. I hope that was rhetorical. No, <laughs> okay. So he's in a net trap. Caught by the guy that would give the broadcast. M lets him, gets the guy to let him down. He drops. Are you alright? <laughs> I just fell 10 feet in a net. I hope that was rhetorical. Is this the guy that made the broadcast about the bomb? He wouldn't shut up long enough for me to ask. Yes, I made the broadcast. What to tell you? Do you work for the CDT? No. I don't work for them anymore. Do you mind telling me what you know? You don't have to worry about the bombs anymore. Why not? They hit about a month ago. I don't get it. Your broadcast was yesterday. That was a recording. Trust me, they've already hit. Then why play them? I wanted someone to find me. I knew if I kept the broadcast going, someone would eventually track me, track down my signal. <laughs> Look, why don't you come with us to the vault? I've been up here for so long. We have two others with food. Water and medicine. Come back with us. All right, I'll come with you guys. Just let me get my stuff. Ooh, I think it's about to get interesting. I think that... Oh, it's... I think I'm about a, to a part where it's going to get exciting. It's been so long since I've typed this. But I know there's something good coming. Here we go. They walk back to the bank with the man. They enter and head to the vault. You guys are held up in a bank vault? The vault is under the bank. It's big enough for the entire town. Stand back. What is she doing? Getting scanned. You can't get in unless you're a local. All right, you two, let's go. You should get some rest. You have a lot of explaining to do tomorrow. Hey, Jay, let's cuff him. I don't trust him. Where did you get handcuffs? There was a dead policeman near the drugstore. You guys don't have to cuff me. Actually, we do. We don't... <laughs> we all need to sleep, and the last thing we need is someone trying to kill us in the night. Not that you could escape through the scans anyways. Not that you could escape the scans. Not that you could escape through the scans anyways. Good night, Em. And just call me Brad. Okay, so the guy that made the signal's name is Brad. Everybody wake up. It's morning. What the heck, man? We don't have jobs. Let us sleep. We have a new guest. Who? 
Brooks. He's the guy that made the broadcast. His name is Brad. Where the hell did he come from? Em and I picked him up last night in a building a few blocks from here. He was broadcasting. Form the reef! From the roof. Boy, I hate that it fixed them like that. He was broadcasting from the roof. I'll let him explain it to you after introducing you guys. Brad, this is Travis and Aaron. Nice to meet you. Now, what about this bomb? Okay, this is Brad explaining the broadcast. Finally! Okay. About a month ago, the CDT made a bunch of bombs. But these bombs weren't meant to kill anybody. Anyone. Anybody, anyone. It really doesn't matter. Who uses those properly anyways? Okay. The bombs weren't meant to kill anyone. They were chemical. They, when set off, were supposed to cure the zombies and change them back to normal humans. Instead, it mutated them. Made them evolve. Even the animals changed due to the exposure to the chemical bombs. To the chemical in the bombs? To the chemical bombs. They were chemical bombs, but there was chemicals in the bombs. Should I fix that now or leave it as is? Even the animals changed due to the exposure. Okay. Even the animals changed due to the exposure. Due to expo due to the exposure of the chemicals in the bombs. Due to the exposure of the chemicals in the bombs. Even the animals changed due to exposure to the chemicals. chemicals in the bombs. I like how that sounds. It flows a little better. Just a little bit better. Even the animals change due to the exposure to the chemicals in the bombs. Yeah, sounds better. Okay. So let me get this straight. We aren't going to be bombed anytime soon. No, it was just a recording you heard. Then why the hell didn't you let me sleep a little longer? <laughs> then why the hell didn't you let me sleep longer? You are so funny. But have you forgotten that we still need to get food from the store? Crap. Okay. Who's going with me? On second thought, you stay here and keep Brad company. I'll go with them and Aaron. <sighs> Fine, but if there's Cheetos, bring me back some. Funny never stops with you, does it? I was being serious. Look, I'll settle for Doritos. Jay and Aaron smile. M <laughs> and M says, We'll be back in an hour or more. So, Brad, is it? Yeah, my name is Brad. How long were you up on the roof? How long were you, long how long were you up on that roof? I'd say about two months, give or take a week. How long have you four been down here in this vault? Well, we just recently saved Aaron, so only about two days. Oh, only been here about two days. Jake and Mila found me down here about a week ago. As far as I go, I've been down here about a month or two weeks. About a month and two weeks. Boy, my words are all over jumbled. Okay. So are you up for a game of cards? Brad smiles and says, Sure. So guys, I don't mean to be a stick in the mud, but how are we supposed to get to the store and carry back supplies on a motorcycle? I may have a solution to this problem. Jake, Aaron, give me five minutes. Em, where are you going? You'll see. Five minutes. Don't wreck this one! Do you think she'll be okay? <sighs> she can handle herself. She isn't that bad of a driver. How long has it been? Four minutes. Did you hear that, Jake? That's not zombies. Honk, honk! Hey, you guys, told you, five minutes. Where did you get this car? It's a nice car. This town has a very nice dealership. 
I got your car destroyed, so I got you a new one. Can I drive? It's your car, of course you can. Drive. Oh, it's your car, of course you can drive it. Damn. This is a way better car than my old one. Where do you see how fast it goes? Seatbelts, everyone. Damn, this car is fast. So where's the store located? A few blocks ahead, take a right. Okay, now where? Shoot. The road's blocked. Okay, take the alley on your right. Turn left into the car wash. Now we should be able to drive through it. And you'll take another left. And the store will be two blocks up. Okay, I see the store. Jay, pull into the back. There's more coverage back there. Do you think the door is unlocked? There's only one way to find out. Figures. Gonna have to find another way in. Hey boys, help me move this. What are you gonna do with the dumpster, Mila? What are you gonna do with the dumpster, Em? I'm just gonna use it to climb to the roof and get in through the air vents. Then I can unbolt the back door for you too. Then I can unbolt the back door for you, too. Good idea. Let's help her, Aaron. Let's help her, Aaron. That should be good. Just give me about f five minutes, and the door will be open. Be careful. We don't know if anybody locked themselves in there. I'll be fine. Just try not to make too much noise out here. Last thing we need is a bunch of evolved zombies making this more difficult. She climbs to the roof and makes her way to the air vents. At first, she's unable to get them open. She kicks the wire mesh screen covering one of the vents and it breaks out. She climbs in and carefully makes her way into the store. It's freezing in here. I hope it's warmer inside. This looks promising. M kicks out the screen covering the vent and jumps out. She makes her way to the back of the store, but hears a noise coming from above. She pulls her gun up. She pulls her gun out and aims to the vent above. A bird flies out, and she laughs and puts her gun away. A little homage to Resident Evil Afterlife, I think. Just to let you guys know. But I wrote that before that movie, which is hilarious. So maybe they stole it from me. <laughs> Okay, um, what do you think's taking so long? It's open, come on in. See, nothing to worry about. What took you so long? Had a little trouble getting in. I had a little trouble getting in the vents and, and I heard a noise. It was a bird that must have flew in the vent after I got in. Alright, let's split up and get as much as we can, then leave. Let's try to stick with canned things and stuff we actually might need. Okay, Dad, chill out. It's not like we're paying for anything. Very funny. Let's just hurry this up and get out of here. Okay, that's everything. Now let's go back inside. Why? We already got everything we need. True, but... We still need ice to keep some of this stuff fresh. We can also get what we want this time. Come on, it only takes 20 minutes. A half hour tops. Jay's right. I could go for some... Jay, he's right. I could go for a few. Does there need to be a comma there? It's a short sentence. And it's like a question, or like it's a conversation, kind of. But should there be a comma there between... Jay, he's right. I could go for a few luxury items. Yeah, comma sounds like it belongs there. Just to be safe. It sounds a little right. Grammarly, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. Jay, he's right. I could go for a few luxury items myself. Definitely a pause there. Okay. Alright, but let's try to... Alright, but let's try not to waste time. Okay. 
All right, but let's try to... No, that's a mouthful. All right, but let's try not to waste too much time in there. Now you sound like my dad. <laughs> you know with the dad jokes? I'm not that old. I think that's Jay. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Frozen pizza. I've missed you. Hey, Jay. Do you drink wine? Sure. Grab a few bottles. M, where are you at? I'm in the candy aisle. There you are. I knew what you were doing here. What? There you are. I knew what you're... Oh, wait. There you are. I know what you're doing here. Butterfingers? Oh, yeah. I'm taking them home. <laughs> I'm off to find hot sauce. It's over... The... It's over by the proto section. Thanks, Em. By the way, that's based on my store's outla, uh, outline, outlay. Layout. Outlay? Layout. Outlay isn't even a word, is it? Layout. That was my store's layout. They used to put the hot sauce and stuff like that next to the produce. And I would always get it because it was cheap. Which, by the way, it's cheaper now in about five or six aisles west of there. So, just a little... Behind the scenes to this book, as I was writing, I would draw from reality quite often in real life. So, this book has a lot of me in it. Okay, um, thanks, Sam. 20 minutes is almost up, guys. Let's think about getting out of here. There's the hot sauce. You found it? What else did you get? A bunch of different things I probably shouldn't eat. <laughs> what did you get? Well, I did manage to find both Doritos and Cheetos for Travis. He'll be happy about that. Oh, I managed to get olives. Yuck, who eats olives? Hey, I happen to love olives. And these green ones are amazing. Hey guys, I'm ready to get out of here. What all did you get, Aaron? Besides a lot of ice. Wine, chips, dried fruits. Seasonings, milk, chocolate, yeast, and flour. Oh, and I found these really cool pocket knives and lighters at the front of the store. Looks like you shopped the smartest of us all. Good for you, Aaron. Let's head back to the car now. Is that everything, guys? Yeah, this is the last of it. Okay, let's go. Oh, Em, you should put that ice cream on ice so it doesn't melt. You know, as I'm reading that, I, I read that ice part a couple paragraphs ago and thought, it's winter. They don't need to worry about stuff being fresh or cold, but once they get below in the vault, they're going to need it. So it kind of does make sense, but in a way, it's the blizzard that's lasted for four or five months or whatever. It's ended, but it's still cold, so I realize it sounds stupid, but yes, they do need ice. Okay? To keep the stuff fresh once it's in the vault and the sub vault especially especially if there's no power down there i don't think or a freezer i don't know there probably is but whatever so um da -da 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 and of course it says in the next sentence seriously it's like a little freezing out here good point did you hear that hear what aaron Look, I think I'm freaking out or something. What the hell are you talking about? I'm... I mean, I think I just saw a bunch of birds up there. What the hell are you talking about? I mean, I think I just saw a few bunch of... Yeah, okay. Let's reread this. Not editing this out. I've just. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Did you hear what he asked? Aaron thinks he hears something. So they say, Look, I think I'm freaking out or something. What the hell are you talking about? I'm. I mean, I think I just saw a bunch of birds up there. Birds? Are you kidding me, Aaron? Um, look up there, please. Aaron, come on. We haven't got time to look at birds right now. You haven't got... Okay. Should I reword that or should I just keep it as is? Birds, are you kidding me? Come look at there, please. Aaron, come on. We haven't got time to look at birds, alright? 
all right sounds better than right now, I guess. Please, just look up where I'm pointing. Where do you see them? Watch up there, and you'll see them. I should probably tell you the last guy that tried to joke around with me got punched in the... Oh. No way. Jay, look at this. Okay, you two, that's the last of it. What the heck are you two dips looking at? Look up there. Wow, that's a fine brick wall you're both staring at. You do realize there's an undead army that could appear at any time. You should look again. Whoa! Whoa. Where did all those come from? What the? Did they just disappear like the zombies? That means they're infected too, right? Yeah, but there's only like 20. It's not like there's a huge flock of thousands or anything. Okay. Now this is where I first break into narrative, I think, since the beginning of the book. Which is a little interesting and a little confusing, but it's kind of self-explanatory in a way that it, it needs to be taken over by a narrative. Because the main characters are a little bit dumbstruck or something so little did they know that thousands of birds were covering the rooftops all around them just waiting to attack quote that was the narrator or me in a movie it would just be like a camera angle showing the birds but i had to explain so that's what i did that was my inner that was my way of like explaining the birds because they were right, but they don't know they're right yet. So, all right, let's just drive this stuff back to the vault. Dang, it's getting dark. How long were we in there? Less than an hour, maybe? Must be getting ready to storm So, You must be getting ready to storm something. Look out. No way. There's a lot more than 20 birds. Everyone, hold on. And where was the car wash? Up two blocks on your right. Crap, that's the last thing we need right now. More zombies. Em, do you see the tank over there? I got it. Shoot it quickly. My gun won't shoot. Here, take mine. Hold on, let me back up a bit. Okay, now shoot it. She does, and the explosion sends numerous zombies flying through the air. What are the, what are the birds doing? They're eating the zombies? Well, as long as it isn't us. There's the car wash. That was a close one. Nice shooting now. Thanks. Here's your comeback. See, that scene was a little quick, but I think is a bridge scene to another pair of, of like scenes or something in the book or movie. I'm always thinking movies, but it's a book. I, I wrote it like a movie, though, which I would think would be cool to see in real life visually, so... It was a good scene, it was quick, but I'm sure it would stretch out to like five minutes or something in a in a real movie, so, you know. I think I'm gonna, for this part I'm going to read another four pages. I'm going to do about 16 per thing because that's about an hour's worth of footage. Depending on how much I have to edit and how into the characters I get and how much of this explanation stuff I do, so. Roughly an hour per video when it's all edited and roughly 16 pages and I can do this in about four or five parts. So let's finish this. So how was your guy's trip? Shut up and eat your Cheetos. Well, I thank you for the Cheetos, but what's with the attitude? I'm tired. Aaron, you tell them. Birds. Thousands of them. They were disappearing and reappearing. Then we blew up like a hundred zombies with a huge tank that I'm shot and the birds ate them like bird seed or something it's freaking cool yes it was cool now help me with the rest of this yes now help me with the rest of the f yes it was cool now help me with the rest of the food before it rots 
Dang, you guys got a lot of stuff. I'm impressed. Just keep your hands off my hot and spicy Cheetos, okay? No thank you. I only eat the regular kind. Hey Brad, can we talk alone for a minute or two? What's up, Jay? I was hoping you could tell me that. What type of chemicals did they put on... What type of chemicals did they put in those bombs a month ago? I'm not exactly sure. I was never told that's why I left. Come on, you left? Are you sure you weren't sent here? Sent here for what? Come on, Brad, I'm asking you nicely as a friend. Do you know why the animals are evolving and we're not? It wasn't supposed to happen here. What wasn't supposed to happen here? The blizzard in America. It was supposed to happen in Australia. The blizzard wasn't an accident. It was purposefully triggered. Yes, but in the wrong location. About nine months ago, the CDT got a call from Australia. No, got a call from the Australian president, Kevin Rudd. Who, by the way, I think I looked up as the actual president or something, so... For real! Or at least he was a decade ago. I don't know if he is anymore. But let's finish this quick. Okay. What was the call about? Seems there... It seems they were having a population problem. Not the human population, though. It was the rabbit population. Also true. There's too many rabbits in Australia. Or there was. Again, there probably still is. I don't know. I've heard that a couple times, though, on TV. Like, uh, Animal Planet. And I did research on it or something. So, let's just uh, continue. Okay. There were reports of them outnumbering Australians. A staggering 100 to 1. This led to us... This led to us developing a virus meant only to wipe out a small amount of the rabbits at a time. However, before we could test it, some idiot in the lab had to foul things up. He was... Okay. How was he trying to steal it? How? Was he trying to steal it or something? No. He mixed some chemicals wrong. He was new to the lab and not as smart as his resume led us to believe he was. Anyway, he caused a huge explosion, which in turn caused the tri which in turn caused the cryogenics lab nearby to blow up, sending our virus straight up into the atmosphere. By then, it was already too late. A massive weather pattern started to form almost a week after the incident. That turned into the blizzard, the chemical blizzard that covered our country. Why are you laughing? <laughs> I guess it's because I'm pissed off, that's why. <laughs> All of this happened. There's a bunch of rabbits in Australia. I suppose it's a little funny. A little funny? Come on! <laughs> Hundreds of millions of people are dead because of... Hundreds of millions of people are dead because the stupid CDT fucked up. And no one knows they're responsible for it. Did it ever occur to you guys to warn us? Or were you just too afraid to admit you had made a mistake? If we had warned you all, it would have created huge international panic. Would have started another war. Well, I'm so glad that never happened. The country is safe once again, thanks to the CDT. Not. I'm going to bed. Try not to kill anything while I'm sleeping. Jay, I'm sorry. Brad, it's already too late for that. Jake lies on the floor next to him and lets out a huge sigh. <sighs> Is there something wrong, Jake? 
Sorry, I'm... Did I wake you? It's fine, you didn't wake me. It's bothering you. <sighs> Brad just told me more than I wanted to know about the CDT. That's the Center for Disease Testing, isn't it? Ha! There it is, people. Told ya! Part 2 reveals the CDT. Okay. What did he say to you about them? He told me that they were responsible for the blizzard. He said that instead of America, that it was supposed to happen in Australia. Why Australia? It's too hot there for a blizzard. The rabbit population was becoming unbearable for Australians. So they called the CDT and they began developing the virus that caused everyone to turn into a zombie. I don't understand one thing. What's that? Why don't they just eat the rabbits? Hmm. <laughs> I'm glad I woke you up. Yeah. Me too. Now we both need... Wait. Me too. Now we both know the truth. Do you want a Butterfinger? Good night, Em. Only gonna read another two pages and call it a day. And this part. Okay, so... Good morning, everyone. What was all the commotion about last night? Nothing important. What matters now is what we do next. I'm not mad at you anymore, Brad. I know that corporations aren't evil because of just one person. It takes a lot of people, and I'm sorry if I directed most of my anger towards you. It's okay. I'd be pissed off, too, if a huge corporation killed over half a country's population lied about it and told me half a year later. The question now is, what are we going to do about it? I say we all eat breakfast first and then we can come up with a plan to take down the big old, the big bad CDT. Oh man, my body has been missing. Oh, my body has missed. Oh man, my body has missed eating vegetables. I miss eating fruit and bacon. Forget what I said about vegetables. I miss eating bacon, too. <laughs> yeah, bacon is good. I'm glad I got the last two boxes of it out of the freezer at the store yesterday. Two boxes? What are you talking about? You didn't actually think I was tired yesterday when we came back here, did you? Well, you and Brad were talking. And Aaron was showering. And Travis was filling with the radio. I snuck. Back, I, I snuck in two 30 pound boxes of bacon. <laughs> you sneaky devil. Go get some and cook it. It's already in the oven cooking. I'm gonna go get it before it burns. Mmm, the salty crunch is fantastic. I can't believe I didn't think of getting bacon. It's just another reason why I like him. Thanks. Now, what's the plan? Right, we should probably make one of those. First things first. Brad, do you know where the CDT is currently based? Okay, I'm feeling like the word well should be there. Well, I know they have a base in Helena, Montana. Again, I got that idea from best places to find catch and treasures because that's where sapphires are harvested here in the United States. Or they can be. So, Helena, Montana is a real location, people. That's where they mixed the chemicals for the bombs. The one closest to us would be here in Iowa. Oh, it is Sacton, Iowa! Now we know where we're at, people. We're in Sacton, Iowa. Okay. Okay, this is the last page, people. Where exactly is it located? It's just north of Sac and 20 or 30 miles tops. Won't be easy to get there though. With all these, with all those zombies evolving left and right. These, not those. 
It won't be easy again. It won't be getting... Okay. It won't be easy getting... It won't be easy to get to, though, with all these zombies evolving left and right. I think I changed that long ago to those, but it sounds better with these. With all these zombies evolving left and right. We have to try and get there regardless. Now, when we get there, what kind of security are we taught? What kind of security are we going to face? Well, Jay, it's not exactly Fort Knox. I mean, the only security they had when I left was... The only security they had when I left were a mess of voice-activated code. Voice-activated doors. The only codes we might need are for the lower level doors. They're underground. I'm going to assume that you know the codes. No, but since I was, and still am, the president of lab research, I have a master key code. It works on all the doors. Well, now that we know where we're going and how to get in, the next thing we need to think about is how to bring the CDT down. Now, we don't know if they're aware of us being alive. We also don't know if... They're, okay. We also don't know if they know about the animals evolving or not. One last thing we don't know if... Uh, we, one last thing we don't know is if there even is anybody still alive there. We're going to have to try and contact them with a the radio. You're right. Are you up to it, Brad? You bet I am. I'll tell them I've discovered a new mutation or something and that I needed to research in a secure area or something like that. Good. While you're trying to make contact with them, the rest of us will be getting the ammo and weapons ready. We need a few more vehicles and fuel too. One more thing, guys. We can take them down from the inside. Everybody be on the lookout for any kind of explosives or anything that can be used as a bomb. Okay, about to run out. So that's the second part. Now we've got a plan to take down the CDT. Everything's been explained. Kind of. But there's still a little couple of twists here and there in the remaining 34 pages or so. So, before I write the ending, of course. So, tune in for part three. Bye-bye.